Hello. Oh, hello. Weekly... I should point out at me. <laughs> <laughs> Weekly vlogs are back. Oh, yeah. This is the first one since the last year vlog. New mm -hmm. Year. New Year. Not counting Spain or the zoo. So, welcome back. Um, you're, you're looking, this is, a, this is, this is a 2023 uh, this is weekly vlog, vlog yeah. Outfit. yeah, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna dress up, we're gonna look fancy, and, uh, we're gonna sit in the house and watch telly. Yeah, okay, <laughs> in front of your eye, that's what you feel when you face. Yeah, um, hang on. I'm also dressed up, although I haven't done my hair yet. No, actually, we're going out, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we probably won't vlog a huge amount of it, which is a really good way to start the weekly vlogs again, We are it? off all weekend. We are off all weekend, uh, but we are going to celebrate my mum's birthday mm -hmm. for a meal out. So maybe I'll show you a bit of the food. We'll see how we go. Yeah. It, but it's going to be quite busy though, so maybe just some pictures. Um, but yeah, um, and then when we get back, we'll have a catch up um, and we'll have a beverage and we'll let you know what the weekly vlog. Like. I'll have it. <laughs> I'm going to leave my like this. It looked fantastic. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a, we'll have a catch up on what we've been up to and what we're planning for the next few um, whatever yeah. rest of the year. I guess I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. It's our, it's our occasional vlog, nothing's changed at all. So we'll catch up with you in a bit. Cats are still about, look. She's been sleepy. She's so pretty. Good morning. Good morning. You alright, hon? Mm -hmm. Uh So, as promised, we, um, we didn't promise anything, did we? Oh my god, but had a few weeks off and I can't remember our vlog. Uh, we did say last night that we were going to do a catch up in the evening and we, we forgot, so we'll do it today anyway. Uh, but the plans for this weekend were originally last minute plans that we were going to go into town today and have some beers. And then tomorrow we we're going to have a roast dinner. But what we've decided to do, because it's a rare weekend when we get the weekend off together, isn't it? Mm hmm. Is we're gonna go, we're gonna have a relaxed today and going the relaxed day today and going to ten tomorrow. So you know, not a huge change to the plans. Uh, yeah, so we'll have a little walk around tomorrow and get some food. But I think that means we're gonna cook a Oops. maybe roast chicken or something today. That'd be nice. Yeah. And chips and gravy, and some veggies or something like that. Or did you want to do it more like roast chicken and spices, Let chip see what spice? We've got. We've got. We've got. We don't know yet. Well, we'll sort that out later. Uh, we also want to call it a hobby craft, maybe, because we're uh, well. I you've pretty much done now, haven't you? But yeah, I'm prepping a cos costume for the Comic Con because last time Gemma made an effort and I didn't. So well, apart from my budget, Mick Foley. Uh, so this time I thought I'd make more of an effort, um, and yeah, it's getting out of hand. <laughs> So we'll get some of that, some bits of that probably sorted today. Um, other than that, this weekend's going to be fairly quiet, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's kind of nice. Well, I have to say thanks to everyone for watching our Spain trip, which has actually been our most popular vlog for quite some time now. It's, uh, it's already gone over 1,500 views, which is nice. I think we mentioned on the last trip that we'll probably be making that a semi-regular occurrence. So we'll try and get there at least once a year, depending on what like work holidays are looking like and stuff like that availability. Um, probably around the same time as well, because it was nice just to get that little bit of sunshine in the middle of winter. Um, what else have we got coming up now? We've got the Comic Con, haven't we? Yeah. We've got uh, Postmodern Jukebox as well. I need to look when that is. Cause 17th Seventeenth of April, so that one's coming up. I'm not sure we'll be able to vlog much of that, but we can certainly tell you what it was all like. Um, and then there'll be days out here, there, and everywhere. Hopefully, regular zoo videos. Although no one's watched the last one, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> and that's not true, actually. It's 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 hard to gauge sometimes when you have a video that is more popular than you were expecting, uh, and then follow it up with a video that's a little bit less popular than they usually are. I think the zoo ones generally are based on like. Like maybe like sort of spring summer time when a lot of people go into the zoo, they go onto YouTube and start searching what's going on at the zoo, and then the views, the videos tend to get a lot of views. Then, and one time we actually got two thousand views in a day because um, another channel had posted a video at Chester Zoo that was viral, 
and ours was in the suggested videos on the right. So when you're doing, you know, when all these YouTubers are like, like, subscribe, ring that bell, and it's really annoying. The reason they do it is to try and increase engagement in the video, which makes it more likely to be suggested to people who are looking for that video as a, a good example, which I think is probably why our Spain vlog has seen more views than it normally does, because uh, people in interacted quite well with that one. Not so much in comments, but a lot in uh, the likes and stuff. And, uh, and obviously watching it and I think that got a lot of people to a lot of new eyes on it I don't think any of them subscribed maybe one or two I think it's uh, the last time I checked it said we'd had one new subscriber off the back of that video which is nice welcome if you're watching um, anyway enough YouTube metrics it's really boring <laughs> uh, other than I'm trying to think of what else there is to update on cats are all good one of them's Stood on the end of the couch over there right now. I'd show you, but I'm not actually dressed properly yet. I'm still wearing my pajamas, effectively. Um, still no pants on. <laughs> no pants on. Oh, I'm stark as from the waist out. That's I'm not, not true. Stark, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're, they're all all fine. So uh, one good thing about uh, that we've managed to keep on top of is we've managed to keep on top of the laundry on the table, keeping it off the uh, the table. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's much cleaner in there. Cheers. I tried to go yesterday, like tucked under the edge. Yeah. This is Pixie's current favourite sleeping spot. At last. Yeah. She loves it in there. She proper she was tucked in until I've turned the camera on, that's what Gemma was talking about. But sometimes she rests her head on the side and just looks at you, it's dead cute. You look grumpy today, Pix, is it because I just woke you up? We're off, Gemma's gonna flash her Mac on and we're gonna go and do some shopping. I did suggest to Gemma that at some point we should, for the first time in 20 years for me, eat food from McDonald's and vlog it. Uh, but every time I've mentioned it since, you keep suggesting, why don't we go from McDonald's? <laughs> okay. Well, I tell you, if you think it's a good idea and you want to see us do that, comment below. I don't. Uh, anyway, we're going to go to Hobby Craft now. We've been here two minutes and we're lost in ink pads and earless misters. Gemma is, is tempted by cricket of similar, but also it's quite aware of how expensive it is. I'd like this. Yeah. This mug one, but you have to buy... It's, you have to buy the special mugs, which I don't know if it's £6.50 is not bad. But then you have to buy this, which is £18 like, for six. Yeah, so the mugs aren't that expensive, yeah, but these have got colour in, that's why they're oh, right, not okay. expensive. Then you have to buy this, but then you have to buy the thing to cut this out, I think, as well. And, and then, and then it. it's... Um, like, the mug press is, like, £180. Pounds. Yeah, let's, um, let's think about that. So it's quite an investment, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, if you're going to, like, always give them as presents... Like, I'll just 3D print mugs. <laughs> the water pouring out the bottom of them. But then I think you need special, like... Stuff. For doing it and yeah. but then you need the thing to cut it out and so you yeah. need the cry cut machine to cut this out yeah to cut i understand out, so. yeah okay well maybe not just now we'll do some more yeah. research I mean, it's small. <laughs> perfect we found it et material <laughs> maybe considering making some more ears with some disney uh fat quarters our niece is going for a first trip though isn't she mm -hmm. so. maybe, maybe we'll have a think about that she likes Toy Story. We did see Encanto, but it didn't actually have Mirabelle on it. No, so which is all of these favourite characters. It's a nice Mickey and Minnie. How about the, the Tiger Print? Disney Princess. Well, we walked the entire store and I managed <laughs> to find at the front of the shop the thing we needed. And we also got Luckily, a fat yeah, quarter. I was buying yeah. some. Mirabelle. Yeah, and just as you picked that up and got, went to the till, we found the spray paint that yeah. I needed. <laughs> It's not a fun weekend without a nice trip to Asda. Why well, we've left it to a Saturday, I don't know. It's going to be bedlam. Kurt Cobain will be rolling in his grave. Brown Nirvana t shirt. Scooby Doo will be rolling in his grave. Trousers. Weekend shop complete. I also used our Asda rewards and saved about 25 quid off it, so that was alright. Thank you, Yeah. Oh, we're back home and there's cats on the carpet and I do need to hoover it because I did it the other day but they make a mess of it quicker than I can fix it. We 
put them a new scratching board in. This this board, think this box that we got came with five scratching boards, and they've managed to get through one of them in about two months, so it's lasted well. Uh, it wasn't cheap though; it was like thirty quid, for essentially cardboard. Uh, we got uh, chicken for dinner, a tasty chicken. We got some cooked meats for lunch and some beverages. And someone tried to kill us on the motorway on the way back. <laughs> this old fella just merged in front of us and slammed off. Don't know if he had a gripe against me or what, but gave him a blast of the horn and carried on on my way. Um, what are we doing for the rest of the day, Gemma? Nothing. Nothing. Right, we'll see you tomorrow then. <laughs> Gemma, you've outdone yourself. That looks fantastic, hon. <laughs> Look at him. That chilling. Oh, Gemma's back in her uh, vlogging uniform, ain't you? Yeah. All comfy. I've changed my jammers that many times because I've got jammed, jammed, obviously jammed over lots all down one pair. <laughs> and then the next morning, I'm a new clean pair. The chocolate house, chocolate class on got me. <laughs> Such classy, aren't you? Yeah. You looking forward to tomorrow then? Mm -hmm. What do you fancy doing tomorrow then? I don't know. Find some food somewhere for like late lunch. A few beverages. Maybe a trip to the Lego store because it's double points weekend. Whatever. I mean, I've not bought any Lego for quite a while. That's not true. I bought it's up there. The Lego Jazz Club as part of the um, modulars. And the little. And I, already, out. someone has started covering it up with dreamies and boxes. It's not Gemma. It's me. But <laughs> I need to start. And the that. little slushies. Slushy yeah, the little slushy van. slushy van. Yeah, that was that was the cheaper set. But. Anyway, enjoy your dinner, honey. That I stole, slaved over a hot stove for. <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll maybe catch up later with a, a stow today. Mm. I almost had you on video being cute. That well, you're still being cute, but I almost had you all curled up, didn't I? Mm, sweet. It's the return of the occasional thing that we do stow today. We have the Vocation Special Edition. Hot chocolate, a chocolate and chilli flavoured stout. And also it's going out of focus. Thanks, camera. <laughs> you ready for this? No. <laughs> do you want to go first or shall I? I'll get out the way. Go on then. It was quite watery. It's very watery. Nice chocolatey though. Yeah. Just a hint. Just a hint of chilli. That's all you want really. You don't want it to be too much, do you? It's very chocolatey though. Good. I'll give it, what's your rating? Probably about a three for me. About a three. Okay. Let's see how we get on with this then. Nothing on the nose. <laughs> I can smell it's chocolatey. I'm a little bit sniffly tonight. Oh, yeah. oh it's not. I'm, I don't get I'm just in the evenings when it's warm, I get sniffly. <laughs> oh yeah, it is warm, very thin, and very chocolatey. I'm not really getting much heat at all. This is the background, just that subtle. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna agree with you. Probably around three. Because it'd be thicker. Mm. Yeah, better it was thicker. But definitely chocolate. So yeah, quite strong chocolate actually. Predominantly chocolate. It's more chocolate than stout of them. Yeah, see that it's called hot chocolate. Mm. So I, I expected a strong chocolate taste. Not really getting much in the way of chilli, if I'm honest. No, it's very, very subtle. There you go. Tomorrow, we'll have other beers. And maybe there'll be a stout there as well. But I'm sure we'll uh, let you know what we think of them as well. Good night. I'm looking at the wrong side of the phone again. Chiamas bacon sandwich. Thank you. Starting the day with bacon. We're going into town, aren't we? Yeah. You just had a shower as well. That's why you've got a towel on your head. No, I think. I'm assuming. Oh, is that your new look? Is it? You, you have a nice evening last night. Yeah. I upped the stout to three and a half. When I drank more of it, it was nice. Okay. There's your stout update for Sunday. See you next week. 
Well, we were supposed to be heading to town for uh, lunch, but now it's one o'clock, so we're a bit late. <laughs> yeah, this was kind of an unplanned visit to town anyway, so we're not really planning on going anywhere fancy or anything. Just going to have a couple of drinks and a bit of food, maybe have a look in a couple of shops and see how we get on. Anyway, we'll see you in town. We headed into town. I think we've not gone to any shops on the head because we're a little bit later in than we wanted to be. And I don't fancy carrying Lego around all afternoon because I'll probably just end up buying from the going in it to head of steam. She's just round here. Have a sit down, have a beverage, have a think about where we want to go next. First round in, Easty Boys Big Mouth Session IPA, and Gemma's got the Titanic Iceberg. I think I've had that one before. It's a bell, it's quite nice as I recall. Titanic Brewery. Funky glass. Yeah, so that one's a real L, this one's a craft beer. Yeah. Round two is a Northern Monk one, which is, um, what, was it? what did I say it was called this one? Faith in Future, which is actually a charity beer, so every can I think of probably pints as well of this money goes to the charity Faith in Future. And Gemma is on Magic Rock, the gluten free one that they did, I can't remember the name. Phantasma, something like that. That's both very nice, both solid. 3.75s for me, I think. <laughs> We're on the move. We've just walked up Bold Street, which has once again completely changed and all the restaurants have changed. <laughs> no, there's a couple of new places there. We saw Pizza Punks and uh, the new Albert Schloss place. Very busy, that place. This used to be Pro Records, which was, which has now moved down towards uh, the Blue Coat. Well, I was a regular in there when I was at uni. We're going to take you to some classic Liverpool places like Savar or maybe the Jacaranda, but the Jacaranda's changed. <laughs> and Savar is closed until Wednesday. <laughs> so we're going to go to Seven Brothers, which isn't a traditional Liverpool place at all. Butter. Gemma. Kia Sol. So we're heading down to Power Street to get to Seven Brothers again because we've we've done a, the long route. <laughs> yeah, there's a f well. I did look on the craft beer places a few new pla a few places that we haven't been to along here. And the Red Lion we've never been to. I don't think it's new, but we've never been there. There we go. We found Seven Brothers. Seven we found. We knew where it was, but we just took the weird. Yeah, the artwork. And this is the cream area where cream used to be. You'll have to excuse the uh, monstrous back lighting in here. It's um, we sat right in the window area. Uh, I got a sling it out stout, which is the stout they make with uh, recycled, upcycled, recycled, whatever cocoa pops. And Gemma's got the last of the where it all began. Where it all began. This is where it all ends. Probably, yeah. You can tell it's quite cloudy. Um, yeah. See what you think of that. It's really nice. Good. What's your rating? I'd give that probably a four. Four? Really nice, Ooh, I'll actually. have to try that one myself yeah. then. And probably a good solid 3.75 for me then. Caught in the act. It is lovely. I don't know if it's meant to be that cloudy or if it's just because it's the last of it, but it tastes really good. It tastes really nice. Mm. And the Sling It Out stuff I've had a few times. I've actually never had it on draft though, so... Yeah, that's a good start. It does actually take a taste just a little bit cocoa popish. It's more chocolatey though. It's not bloody called where it began, it's called how it started, Gemma, come on. Thing. But this is how it ended, because this is the last pint they can pour. Uh, they ran out. Round two in here, I got the the honeycomb IPA, and we got the watermelon wheat for Gemma, which is uh, one of your fair zero, isn't it? And because so yeah, that's a really nice one as well. Because Gemma tagged the bar in an Instagram post, they gave us twenty percent off this drink, so that's pretty cool, isn't it? And that was something that they did. Yeah. So yeah, you never know. You might get it. You might not. Worth a try though. Whenever you're in here, isn't it? It's not like it's something I don't normally do. Like I've just tagged head of steam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice to do it. It's just so 
sometimes like like you take that to we'll share it on their Instagram. If you say you're in there having a good time, they yeah. share it on their Instagram. So you just yeah. did that and this place was like, yeah. hey, have a discount on your beers? Just like, oh, see you post on Instagram, we'll give you 20% off. It's so, really nice. <laughs> that's all I did there. <laughs> We'll do it again now for this trip. <laughs> I think she's laughing at that more than I am. Um, back to her slightly drinking um, pure cinder, cinder toffee. Yeah. It does smell like some toffee as well. <laughs> Uh, lovely afternoon in Seven Brothers there. So we're on the move now. We're gonna see if we can get some food So either from this point we'll go to an old favorite or hopefully we'll try somewhere new. So we'll see when we get there Just saying it's quite mad that we've got this construction here This was a little car park when we came back past the Monroe and uh, almost famous a few months back And now there's a building there <laughs> Everything's just filling in around us, but we're heading down Duke Street. Moment of silence for uh, people of the 90s sort of Liverpool era when uh, we used to come to Labato for liquidation in Duke Street for uh, the Indian night. <laughs> you may have seen me in there. <laughs> no, it's like just chips again. <laughs> We're gonna try ourselves in the Druk Street Food and Drink Market. Uh, it's just said please wait here, so we'll see how we get on. So we're in here now. Um, it is one of the places you can order food on a QR code. But all the food places are over the back there and there's like multiple different places. Um, probably a lot more than we can go through in the vlog, isn't it? Thank you. Couple of beers, they do uh, Camden beers in here. They actually have their own beer, but I didn't have my glasses on, so I couldn't see what it was. <laughs> what are you ordering food wise? I've ordered uh, crispy chicken, then bath. Whatever for you. Uh, ramen, chicken ramen. Chicken ramen, and some sushi, chicken sushi. Sounds good. And um, they also do uh, Italian food in here, they do steak in here, corn and block. Fish. Uh, fish, yeah, so a, it's you know, your, your basic food marketplace, lots of different stalls that you can try and stuff like that. It's pretty lively in here as well, it's very busy compared to um, the GPO which is over the other side of town. A lot busier in here. <laughs> so there are some of the kitchens in this place. Ginger is where I've ordered from. Bone and Block does good steak stuff by the looks. Gemma's food's turned up while I was away. Look good? Nice? <laughs> Enjoy. Well, yeah, my, uh, my men just arrived and so did um, the little side we ordered. Oh, this is really good too, isn't it? We're not sure with this one. <laughs> what to do with it? I'm, I'm guess it's wrapped in seaweed, so I guess we wrap it and cut it and they have it, have it between us. Sorry? And you've had the chicken off it already. Oh, okay, that's fine. Really good though, very thirsty. Yeah, I don't know how to use chopsticks, unfortunately. I do need to work on that. I think that's my, that's a thing for me to do. Clean balls all around. Food was actually really good in here. Really enjoyed that. Yeah, that ramen was fantastic. Um, Gemma was asking whether would I rather come here or Maggie Foods, which is where we went to it at Christmas. And to be honest, I got to either because both of them are very, very good. So that was Duke Street Market. Did you enjoy? That was lovely. It's very good, wasn't it? So I'm we're stuffed. yeah. So we're gonna walk her, uh, Gemma's dinner off. <laughs> I've still got room for pizza. <laughs> but we're gonna walk Gemma's dinner off and head over towards Dead Crafty and have a nightcap there before we head home. Ship and Mitre, Excelsior, part of the beer quarter, and Dead Crafty here on the left. All very good pubs worth visiting. Dead Crafty's a little quieter tonight. 
Let's get in there and get some beers. A couple of beers in uh, Dead Crafty. They've recently did a, a beer and cheese pairing of event and there's still some of the beer left over from it. Should probably ask if they've got any cheese left, to be honest. <laughs> this is a, Pan a Pomona Stout, which is, um, I've forgotten. And this is also a stout. <laughs> Yours is called um, Hatteration Holleration. Yeah. And mine is the red is strong, yeah. but the blue is pure. Which is uh, very fitting for Gemma as an Everton fan. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the flavours on this one? Your flavours are well, it's a 7%. Oh, geez. Chocolate and cherry salt. Oh, that was it. Chocolate and cherry. That was why I was eager to try it. And mine I, is I was so eager that I forgot. Raspberry and elderberry. Raspberry and elderberry for that one. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? It smells good. Oh, that is pure like black forest cherry style going on. This is uh, this is stout Sunday after yesterday's stout Saturday. It feels good too. It's tart. What, what, what's your rating on it? At first sour, I'd probably give that a four. Ooh, that's a good sour. It's a good sour. Yeah. This one's solid four for me as well. 4.25. <laughs> so we've uh, gone for some strong souts now, which is the top rope, no birds were harmed, is an 8.5% stout. This is from just up the road from here. And Gemma's gone for the S43 Pumpkin, Pumpkin Imperial. It's just from County Durham. And so we've had the non-imperial version of this before and it's really nice so the imperial version hopefully should be even nicer let's give this top rope one a quick whirl really need to visit the tap house oh that's delicious really nice very sweet it's not the most over the top stout it's all vanilla it's really nice Let's give this pumpkin pumpkin one again a go, a go sorry. Mm -hmm. I know I've jumped in, Gem hasn't even tried it and I've been there. Let's give it a go. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of pumpkin. <laughs> Gemma's going in with the uh, pumpkin beer. <laughs> I knew you'd like that one. That is like a, a real smack in the kids, so with pumpkin. Cubes, level cream. Okay. It is, it's full on pumpkin, isn't yeah. it? What do you think was your rating on that one? Five. That's a five. I'd go uh, I'd go a solid four point two five on that one. <laughs> and this is uh, also uh, a decent four point two five as well, really nice. It's Monday. Uh didn't end the vlog off last night because we were Tipsy. You have a nice day yesterday, Jam. It was a lovely day, yeah. Good. Gemma's day off is now a Monday, so we, we get to have a bit of a relaxed Monday now. And you get two days off in a row, which is oh, nice. Lovely. Yeah. Um, so we've ordered takeaway for tea tonight, which we'll show you when it arrives because we didn't have anything in. Um, oh, we've ordered Piri Piri from our favourite, the chicken place. What was your favourite thing yesterday? The food, I think. The food, yeah. It was good, that wasn't yeah, it? That nice, place, yes. Definitely go back there again. Yeah, yeah there's loads of yeah. chowder. Yeah, although I'd struggle to get past that ramen. Yeah, it was know? delicious. Maybe I have a ramen and something else to go with it. What, say that again. Say Maybe that. I have the ramen and something else to go with it next time. Oh, you're so hungry after the ramen. Really? Yeah, the that's why I had pizza when I came home. The massive bowl of ramen. I know, I'm just a greedy, greedy boy. Well, the one I had was... Very fun, so we could have that. We do that a few different ways as well. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. I enjoyed it though. And, uh, really nice to get back to Dead Crafty and uh, have a relax and a well. few beers and seven brothers too. Yeah, it was a good day out. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a little date afternoon, wasn't it? It was. It's our Valentine's afternoon. Yeah. Anyway, we'll catch up again in a bit when tea arrives. I'm just having a lie on the couch because I'm absolutely shattered. I worked, I worked today, I didn't get a day off. And Reggie's currently underneath Gemma's couch, being a pain in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Gemma has provided the uh, delicious peri peri chicken. Well, I'd have ordered it, but you provided it. Oh, did I pay for it? <laughs> yeah. 
your cards on that one. Oh, okay, that's fine. I don't <laughs> mind because you paid for dinner yesterday, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, is my card on that one as well? No, <laughs> Looks good, honey. Thank you. Okay. We're going to have to eat healthy for the rest of the week. There's salad. Yeah, there is salad. Nice little chicken. And halloumi's very healthy. Gemma's cooking us a lovely Valentine's dinner. We've got T-bone steaks, haven't we, from the butcher? Yeah. So I won't show you them now because they're not cooked yet, but I will show you them when they're done. Oh, okay, then there we go. There's one of them. Monsters, though, aren't they? Yeah. So we, we always have a special treat dinner on Valentine's Day. Oh, we don't good. do cards no. or presents, but we do treat ourselves for a nice dinner. always put a good deal up for yeah. um, the steaks. Yeah, they're not cheap, but then. No, not for cheap. Well, if we went out for a meal, we'd have spent more. True. And also, the kittens are being cleaned and unfolded. We're going to sit at the table and eat them. And yes, the kittens are being pens and the bums. They've been the pens and the bums for the last 12 hours, 24 hours, sorry. Last night when we came to bed, they were bouncing around the room, running up and down the stairs. Full of energy. Although the other night, Reggie managed to get himself locked into the kitchen and spent the whole night in the kitchen on his own. Silly Reggie. Wow, that's quite the steak, isn't it? Yes, it is. Looks lovely, honey, thank you. Cooking time, eh? Wow. We're ending our Valentine's Day by watching Wally. Did you enjoy your dinner, honey? Did it, was lovely. It was good, wasn't it? We've got pudding, I'm gonna put that on now as well. And we're just washing the, uh, the wine down. We've got a Yeah, that's a Christmas wine, that. Oh, excuse me. We hadn't drunk. Anyway, I think we're going to leave it on this, on this vlog. Oh, my voice is gone. And we'll catch up next week, won't we? What are we doing next weekend? I don't know. No, me either. Oh, I'm sure we'll figure out something. Oh, we might have a relaxed weekend. We'll see what happens. Bye. Bye, Gemma. Bye.